Welcome to Quick Ceph Studio video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you our built-in analyses and how to customize your own analysis. We start with rickets to burst stone enabled by default. So after you do your first tracing, you can go through these different analyses and see them change in real time, and they will also change your measurements page. Keep in mind, only rickets includes the Ricketts summary. Now we do include other analyses as well. If you go to your preferences and go to your tracing section, you can see here's how you enable the other analyses. Again, Ricketts to Burnstone will be enabled, but we also include Sassuni, Hassoon, Geneva, Quad, ABO, ABO2, and ASE. Those you can turn on, but if you turn them on, they're going to give you some extra landmarks to digitize or extra curves to digitize. Now, very often we get a request for a custom analysis, and we give you all the tools that we use to make the built-in analyses so that you can make your own. We often see that custom analyses are a combination of a few of the built-in analyses, so let's make an example custom analysis right now. So let's say we're going to make a new custom analysis based on Steiner. So right here, I'm going to hit the plus button, and I'll just name it our um, demo custom analysis. And it will be a lateral analysis, and we're going to copy Steiner. Okay, so you see now we have our demo custom analysis here. Notice when we had Steiner selected, we had all the same measurements, but they were grayed out. We could not edit them. Now with our demo custom analysis here, we can now edit all these measurements. Um, let's say if I don't want one, I can delete one. So let's say A and B, I want to delete. I'll just remove. And now let's say I want some measurements from downs. I can go into downs and maybe I want the Y axis and maybe I want the um, MX1 to APO. I can highlight both of those and go to the edit menu and copy or command C and then go to my custom analysis and paste. There you go. And now if we look, we'll look at my custom analysis and you can see in real time it's changing. If I move this MX1 up to the top, now it moves up to the top there. Now not all the measurements have a value, um, the label value. So all measurements will show on this measurement page, but without a label it won't show on the tracing itself. I don't see where this WITS appraisal measurement is. Um, let's say I want to see the Ritz appraisal right at Nazion. I can make the label Nazion, and now I instantly see the Ritz appraisal show up right around Nazion. Now let's say um, I want to offset that to, to the right side of my upper profile here. The X coordinate and Y coordinate will let me offset this. So let's go 10 millimeters, and that's going to go 10 millimeters to the right. If I do minus 10 millimeters, I'll do minus 10 millimeters to the left. And then Y, if I go 10 millimeters, that's going to go 10 millimeters up. Or minus 10 millimeters, that will go 10 millimeters down. So you could stack measurements in a row here. You, can, um, you have a lot of flexibility with these. I can even add a completely custom measurement. Hit new, there's my new measurement. I can title it whatever I want. What type of measurement do I want? Maybe I want an angle between lines, or maybe I want a point to line distance, or a simple point to point distance like this is. And I can choose the two points and then the value. Um, and then if they have norm values, I can set those as well. Now, you may need to adjust lines. You can customize what how the lines look. If you want a new line, you can add it. You can make lines a specific color. Maybe I want a certain line to always be red, or I can make you know lines dotted or dashed. Uh, points I can have um, illustrated too. I can you know make a certain point a star. You know maybe I will go here and I'll make our cella. I'll make cella, there's our cella point, and maybe I want cella to be a circle. Okay, so now cella is always a circle. And then landmarks. Uh, if you have a custom measurement that you need in your analysis that isn't a landmark already in our system, and there's many already built in, you can see we have a large list of landmarks already for you to choose from. 
digitized and calculated landmarks. Well, if you need a new one, you can add a new one. I can hit plus right here. I'll call this my, you know, custom landmark. And then the next time you go digitize, here, I'll go over here to the tracing so I can digitize. It's going to now call out your custom landmark at the end after you do your, um, you know, 28 points. It'll call out any of your custom landmarks as well. Then you can use that custom landmark in your own measurement. So with these tools, you should be able to make any custom analyses you want. And before you really get into making a custom analysis, um, we have a useful um, manual. It's right under the documentation menu, and we're going to be updating the program soon. We're going to rename this menu to help. So you'll see the Quick Stuff Studio user's manual right under the documentation or help menu. Open up the user's manual. Right in the first couple of pages, we have our um, table of contents, and we want chapter 10, creating a custom analysis. Click on that. So it starts on page 123, and this will take you through what I was showing, you know, creating a new custom analysis, choosing what analysis you want to copy, adding measurements, copy and pasting measurements, all that stuff. But then really handy here is going to be a breakdown of all the different measurement types, irregularity index, mandible arch length discrepancy, point to point distance, point to line distance, and then it also gives you an example of, of some of these different measurement and um, choices that you have when creating these custom analyses. All right, if you have any other questions, um, please let us know. And again, before doing too much, we highly suggest that you read through this chapter 10. It's not long, but it'll give you a lot of helpful information about creating your own custom analysis. All right, thank you. Take care.